value or for being defensive right now. Joining me is Kevin Walsh. He's the president and CIO of Henyon and Walsh Asset Management. Kevin, good to see you again. And uh, do, you, do you favor one of these in particular? I mean, it's been a very difficult and volatile start to the new year, Kelly. Consider that of the first 68 trading days of 2022, 19 of those have involved a daily move of one and a half percent or more for the S&P 500. That's nearly 30 percent of the time. So for those investors who are now looking to get their portfolios back in shape after a very difficult first quarter where the S&P lost 4.6 percent, we might suggest a barbell approach, incorporating some value-oriented investments on one side of the barbell, growth-oriented investments that have been beaten up the most thus far on the other side of the barbell, and then some defensive positioning in the middle, providing for dividend income and downside protection. Because I'll tell you what, Kelly, these days of short-term bouts of volatility aren't behind us just yet. So in other words, you want each of these three in your portfolio right now. So let's run through some of the names. Growth, what comes to mind? Why should people have exposure there right now? Sure. And again, growth's been the most beaten up thus far in 2022. We saw a little bounce back in March, which gave some investors hope and perhaps believing there's some now attractive entry points for growth-oriented investments. So I picked three stocks from three different smart trust UIT strategies. For growth, I'm looking at the financial sector and BlackRock. BlackRock, of course, beat their earnings estimates for Q1 by about 7% as they report this morning and also have a yield of about 2.4%. For the value side of that barbell approach, how about the defense supplier Lockheed Martin trading at a multiple of just 14.4 with a trailing 12 dividend yield of 2.3%. And then in the middle of that barbell, the infamous chocolate maker Hershey from the consumer staple sector with a trailing 12-month yield of 1.6%. You don't have to be all in for value, for growth, or defensive. Perhaps you want to adjust those allocations based upon your own risk tolerance or investment objectives, but certainly some combination of those threes should prove well for investors over the balance of 2022. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.